Oh my God. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another What's in Your Cave video. I'm Jolster. And then so this video is, I'm just so excited to show you guys. You guys, every time I open my emails and I see all these pictures and requests, I'm just blown away by the passion you guys have for your caves. It's just like, this is a very, very cool video. I actually have more, I have four, this time four participants this time and and i'm pretty sure you guys are going to get a lot of ideas because i am getting ideas from all these caves so uh yeah i'm very excited to show you guys but before i do that i also wanted to show you the new merchandise you know the ones that i the shirts if you guys are interested in buying some shirts let me just show you real quick this one so this is jolster you know you can buy this one from teespring and this one has, you know, the monitor because we redo, we review TVs and monitors here. We also do some gaming, so I included a gamepad right here. And I also review some headphones, gaming headphones or headphones, Bluetooth headphones for music. So I included that in here. So this is pretty much some of the stuff that I review here. I also review some soundbars as well and some other things too. But this is mainly some of the things that I do here. And also, let me show you the one that I'm making. So this is the Jolster logo, J J G, and then right here, Jolster at the bottom. This is very simple. I am making this one. I bought the machine and everything to make it. So if you guys are interested in buying this one by by Teespring, I'm going to leave the link in the description. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah. I want to leave a link in the description of the video. And if you buy, if you guys want to buy one of these ones, that I want the one that I make. It's $20 including shipping. So uh, just let me know what size you want. I right now I only have them in black. I think black is more like a you know, like a general use. Black goes with pretty much everything. So just let me know what size you guys want. It's $20. Uh, we can you can send the money through PayPal. Send me a hey, Jolster, one of those Jolster t-shirts, red support to support the channel. And uh, I'll show you some, you know, a small video of how I make this with the plotter, with the machine, with the iron and everything. It's, it's pretty fun. I like doing that. If you guys want to participate, there's going to be the description down at the uh, instructions down at the description of this video. God, Jesus. Let's do this. All right, guys, so we're going to start with Anthony Zina. He is a pizza delivery driver for Domino's Pizza in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I hope I pronounced that correctly. He probably gets a lot of tips because his cave is awesome. So he's got a 65 inch Sony Z9D, which he purchased at Best Buy for $2,000. Now, one cool feature about this TV is that it also supports 3D. And for that, he's got the Philips BDP. 7501 4k blu-ray player which he paid around 200 dollars when he launched the 3d glasses were included with the tv and he also has an awesome collection of 3d movies his favorite 3d movies are pacific rim the first avengers and black panther not to mention he also has a large collection of 4k hdr movies 51 and counting for gaming, he has the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4 Pro White Edition, including a pair of DualShock controllers and the new version of the PlayStation Gold wireless headset and a collection of 55 games and counting. To enjoy his TV, he has a DirecTV Genie box, which he can record up to one terabyte of TV programs. And for sound, he has the Vizio SB3251N, which is a 32-inch soundbar with surround sound speakers and a subwoofer for a 5.1 system. I really like that this TV has 3D because nowadays it's so hard to find that feature on TVs. It seems like it's only been available for projectors now. My only recommendation to Anthony is to upgrade to a Dolby Atmos system to get more to get more out of your 4K movie collection, but man, other than that, you have a very very cool setup. All right guys, so the next cave is from Josh Wright. He is a U.S. Army veteran from Abingdon, Virginia, and he and his brother own a landscaping company. Pretty cool. Now, he has the Samsung Q7FN 55-inch 4K HDR TV from 2018. That's the same one that I have. 
he bought it, he bought it at Best Buy for $1,300. And now I think you can even get it for cheaper. So that's a very beautiful looking TV. For sound, he has the VCO 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos soundbar, which he also purchased at Best Buy for $500. For gaming, he owns the Xbox One X, which he paid $400, along with the Philips Hue Bridge and Play Bars, which he paid $130 at Best Buy. He also collects 4K Steelbooks, Funko Pops, Star Wars collectibles, plus Mondo and other pop culture posters and prints. He is constantly upgrading his setup and looking for new ideas, and that is the main reason we have this show, guys, so we can get ideas from others. So remember, if you guys want to participate, just follow the instructions in the description of this video. All right, guys, so the next cave is from John Capone. He is from Long Island, New York, and he is in the construction and catering business. He's got a Samsung KS8500, which is a Kurt 4K HDR TV from 2016 with a beautiful picture. And I know this because I own one as well. He paid $2,000 when he bought it. For sound, he has the Sony HDST 5000 soundbar, which he paid $1,400. Man, that's a really expensive soundbar. But it's at 7.1.2 Dolby Atmos soundbar. He enjoys his movies with the Oppo 203. 4K Blu-ray player, which he paid around $600 when it was available. Now prices have gone crazy since Oppo is no longer available. And he also has the Nvidia Shield TV. For gaming, he pretty much has everything. He's got the PlayStation 4 Pro, the Xbox One X, and the Nintendo Switch. But wait guys, that's not it. Mr. Capone here is also into the PC Master Race. He's got the Acer X34P monitor. This is a 34-inch ultra-wide 1440p monitor with an IPS display and G-Sync. You can buy it right now for around $850. He also has a Corsair K65 mechanical keyboard with a custom keycaps, along with a Corsair Dark Core wireless mouse and SteelSeries mouse mats. He also has the Sheet Magni 3 and Modi 3 DAC amps, which cost around $300, and he highly recommends them with the Bayer Dynamic D990 Pro headphones for an amazing beginner budget audio file setup for gaming, movies, and music. He also has the Corsair Void Pro wireless headphones, which cost around $70, with the Corsair RGB headphone stand ST100, which is a 7.1 surround sound, which costs around $60. And for more gaming, he has the HTC Vive VR headsets. Now all this is connected to his i7-6850 and RTX 1080 Ti custom PC with beautiful cable management and RGB lights, which cost him around $3,000 for the whole setup, and the DX Racing white and black gaming chair, which sells for around $300. He plans to upgrade his entire TV and PC setup when the next generation of consoles release in late 2019 or 2020. Mr. Capone has a lot of more stuff like headphones and DAX that he did not show, but overall, he is ready for battle with this setup. Alright guys, so the next cave is from Rome Rush. He's from Cleveland, Ohio. He works at the Veterans Affairs Medical Center as a medical support assistant. He has a Sony 65-inch X900E 4K HDR TV, which he bought from Amazon for $1450, that's $1450. And to me, honestly, it's one of the best full array TVs from Sony from 2017. For gaming, he has a PlayStation 4 Pro with a PS2 skin and Samsung Evo 2TB SS drive installed, which he bought from Makati for $180. That's a pretty good deal. He also has the Xbox One X Scorpio Edition and the PS3 connected to his TV. For audio, he has the Vizio S4251W B4. That's a 5.1 soundbar, which he bought from OfferUp for $150. Man, that soundbar sells for $388 at Amazon. You get an amazing deal, Rome. He also has a collection of 250 PS3 games and more PS4 games on another shelf that has the G LED kit that he bought on Amazon for $20. Behind the TV, he has the Philips Hue Go Lights powered by an Amazon Echo Dot and Google Home. On a second room, he has a PS2, 
a backwards compatible PS3 and another 60GB PS3 in its original box with a promotional copy of Talagueda Nights, which is one of my favorite movies from Will Ferrell. He also has the Xbox 360 Elite system, and all this is connected to a Sony Bravia 42-inch TV he bought from eBay for $160 and the Sony PlayStation soundbar at the bottom. As you guys can see, he's a big fan of the Cleveland Browns, Indians, and the Cavaliers, and of course, his personalized Cleveland Browns Xbox One controller with his gamer tab and great. I like his light up emblems, I have similar shelves so I'm probably going to buy something like that and I love that he also has his cave rules. This is overall a very cool cave guys. Wow, so what do you guys think? I'm just so impressed, I'm just so impressed and blown away by how you guys managed to you know, put together sports plus gaming plus home theater, everything's like smashed into one thing. You guys are so passionate about this and I really, really enjoy doing these videos for you. So remember, if you guys want to participate, make sure you follow the instructions, it's free and it just helps to share with others your experience, you know, your prices on maybe ideas on how it looks, how it works. So thank you so much for participating guys. Oh, one last thing. On the previous cave video, we saw Prince Barrett's cave and he upgraded his speaker setup. He bought some Polk Audio speaker towers for $135 from Facebook Marketplace. Not only it looks much cleaner, but he also improved his sound. Very awesome Prince, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Alright guys, so that's it for this video, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Joster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out.